On the second channel, I recently made a video on a fully free AI coding agent designed for large code bases and real world projects very similar to how Cursor does. But the thing is, this coding agent is completely open source and local with no rate limits and it's not augment code. Allow me to introduce Plandex. Plandex is a terminal based AI coding agent which is purpose built for real world software engineering tasks. It can autonomously plan execute debug large code base tasks across dozens of files with multi-million token context support just take a look at plandix live in action it is showcasing the autonomous debugging capability on browser-based applications it intelligently identifies bugs it's going to plan fixes and apply validated changes across multiple files all without manual intervention a standout feature is the diff review sandbox which you'll see this is where it's going to let developers inspect AI generated edits before merging, which is going to preserve code quality. So this way it is going to allow you to see if the code that was generated by the AI is actually valid or not. But this is where the massive 2 million token context window comes into play, where it is going to provide support for models like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google, and it will power Plandex to prove that it can scale complex real world projects and it's going to be able to implement any sort of changes across your overall code base. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now specifically, Plandex is a terminal based AI coding agent and is designed to tackle massive real world code bases with over 2 million token context. This is where it could work with large projects and files. It's going to be able to autonomously make changes across your overall project without making any sort of error. It supports 30 plus languages, which is nice. And this is through tree sitter powered project map and excels at managing large files in multi-directory projects. Whether you're working in full autonomous mode or prefer granular step-by-step -step control, there's three ways to get started. You can easily install it locally with a single command or you have the ability to access it on the cloud. Now there's two tiers. You can bring your own API. You just need to simply index your own uh, code base into the Plandex cloud and you can get started with it without hosting it locally on your own server. This is where it sets up the whole process but what we're going to be doing is showcasing the open source self-hosted local mode where we're going to be connecting it with a local model. You can even connect it with free models from open router so you, you don't even need to install any sort of model. This is where it's going to give you flexibility to use open routers uh, provider so that you can use Many of the free models that they provide, like DeepSeek R1, they also have uh, free models like, I believe, the Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, it is something that you can install for various operating systems, whether that's Windows, uh, using WSL, Linux, as well as macOS. Now, what we're going to be doing is installing Plandex with the self-hosting method. So it is going to be completely free. And what we're going to be doing is installing it with Windows. So we're going to need WSL if you're following through with the Windows operating system installation method. So go ahead and install this. This is a subsystem for Linux. Once you have that installed, make sure you have Git installed as well as VS Code. Once that is done, go over to the doc, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Open up WSL. And then once you have done so, you want to go ahead and clone the Plandex repository. So copy this link and then paste it into the terminal. And once it has finished cloning, you can then go into the Plandex uh, folder as well as the app folder. For this next step, you'll also need Docker desktop installed. Make sure you install this for your operating system. In this case, install for Windows. I have it already installed. But what you're going to need to do is simply go ahead and open it up. So open up Docker desktop and make sure it is running in the background. And once you do have it running, make sure you go back into the docs and you want to go into the main Plandex directory. And once you are in there, you want to copy this next command, which is to start the local server. And once you have started it, we're going to need to go enter in a new or open up a new uh, command prompt. So open up another WSL terminal and once it has finished starting up the server we can then go ahead and 
run the next command which is to install the plandex cli so we have now locally started up the plandex server and you can see that it is running on our 8099 port but what we're going to need to do now is install this cli with this command so use this curl command and paste it into the new terminal that we have opened up and you can see that it is going to ask you for your password once you have inputted your password it will then install this Next, you need to go and copy the plandex sign in command and you want to go into a new terminal and paste this in and click enter. Now, you don't want to select the cloud version. You need to select the local mode host and you'll see that there's a local host already highlighted, which is a server that we have already started up. This is the local host uh, 8099 that is available. So what you can do is simply just paste in this local host and click enter. After you have created an account with Plandex and it is fully locally hosted, what you can do is set up your API key. Now you can use Olama to use a local model. You can use other providers like OpenRouter or OpenAI. You just need to simply use the expert command to set the API key for the provider you want to use. And once done, you can just use the Plandex command within the terminal to start it up. So to start this up now, you can go back into one of your main terminals and just run the plandex command after you have set your API keys. And now you can request it to do anything. You have the ability to set it to auto. You can configure it so that you can then index your overall code base. Now, I highly recommend that you use this within an IDE like VS Code. So it's easier to work with your code base and see all the diff changes that are being made. But now what you can do is just simply ask it a question. So what we can do is ask it, can you create me a task management app? And then we're just going to simply go ahead and send this in. And you can see that the actual Plandex agent is going to work on creating a plan using the model that we have set. I have selected the Gemini 2.5. And in this case, you have the ability to use a local model as well with Olama or with a free model uh through the open router api but you can see right now it is thinking because a gemini 2.5 is a reasoning model so it will take its time to plot out a plan and then it'll work on generating this and finally we have our app fully created with a single shot prompt i was able to create this it actually created an authentication system which has demo credentials. So we just need to paste in user and pass and click enter. There we go. We have our main dashboard for the task management app. Now there's a couple things that need work like this prompt over here, but overall you have the ability to manage your total task, showcase the completed task, the pending task, and then you can add a new task like creating a YouTube video. And then we can give it a date so let's just say we want to create one for this time and we can then add a medium priority and click on add task and you can see on the bottom it will add this task now there's a couple of formatting issues like the font not being displayed properly as well as the color over here but it did a pretty decent job in generating this basic app for us and you can see we have the ability to then uh go ahead and give this a check mark if it is completed if not we can retry it and then also delete it if needed but overall it created a functional task management app pretty quickly and it was able to do this and it did a pretty decent job in doing this as well to be honest that's not even the purpose for plandex in terms of creating apps i guess it's a pair programmer but you would want to ideally use it for helping you make changes across your overall code base which is where this becomes really handy. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. It's open source and you can easily get started. I actually made a full video on it on the second channel. So if you're interested, take a look at it. It'll give you more context as to what you can do with it. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you follow me on the newsletter and join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel by turning on the notification bell, liking this video as it would truly help me out, guys. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Check, take a look at our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.